Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week, our show is all about the veterans. First up, a unique museum in the Brazos Valley dedicated to the American GI. And trust me when I say this, you can have a blast there. On the south side of Aggieland, Santa's Wonderland is one of the best known Christmas attractions in the state. But just a stone's throw from this huge holiday hotspot is a museum that celebrates those who give throughout the year. A place where honor, sacrifice, and service aren't just part of being on Santa's nice list, they're a part of who these people are. We do need to thank them because their stories are great and they're all special. Leisha Mullins is one of the founding members of the American GI Museum. I have a bachelor's degree in biochemistry, a doctorate in chemistry, and I taught at the university for 18 years and I did research for 10. So why are you at a military museum? Married into it. <laughs> Her husband Brent is big on military history and owns a parts company for military Jeeps. On the side, he likes to rebuild military vehicles, especially tanks. He did what we call soft skin, which are Jeeps and um, non-armored. And so he would restore them, play with them, sell them, get a new one. Then he worked his way into these armored vehicles. And once he got to the armored vehicles, he stopped selling them and just went to another armored vehicle. That collection exploded. And now these massive machines are the centerpiece of the museum. Each of these are fully restored and it takes about two years at least to restore them. These tanks don't just look immaculate, they also run perfectly. Everything else in here is fully operational. The helicopter's the only thing that is not. So the museum offers an experience you won't find many places, a chance to ride in a tank. A few times a year, these beautifully restored Shermans take to the hills of Brazos County, tromping through the terrain like they did back in the day. It gives us a chance to bring history alive to people to actually see it other than just the static displays. Even veterans come to relive what it was like to be in these powerful machines. It's wonderful to bring the veterans back because when they come back and get into vehicles, they are giddy as school kids. One of those veterans is George Ruth who entered the service before his 15th birthday in 1943. It was his 93rd birthday. He was in the 93rd um, Division, which was a segregated division in World War II. And we put him on the half track and he rode on the half track. And I might not have done that if he had told me that in World War II, he fell off of a half track and broke his shoulder. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm like going, okay, but no, he, he loved it. The tanks are truly impressive, but the most powerful exhibit sits in the museum. It's a tribute to Texans who never made it home from Vietnam. There is one dog tag for every Texas veteran that was either killed in action or missing in action. There's 3,417 dog tags. It's a very, very special exhibit because again, it helps me when I'm talking to kids and um, we can look at it and go, you know, not everyone comes home. And so we need to honor our veterans and thank them. Riding in the tanks and remembering those who served is part of that experience. But it all culminates with a firing salute that rocks the entire region. All of our tanks, the guns can fire. We only fire blanks. We don't fire live rounds. That's a good thing. <laughs> but boy, when they fire, you, it's the, the boom and the percussion pushes you back, and it is just cool. What do the neighbors think of that? Occasionally. They, <laughs> they're, they're pretty good. No, most of the time, <laughs> we, we, we try to be really careful with our neighbors. We only make noise about three or four times a year. We're shooting tanks today. Yeah, we're shooting the tanks today. Honoring veterans while learning about their incredible contribution to our country while taking a tank ride. Make the Museum of the American GI a stop to salute on the Texas bucket list. And a lot of times they just don't want to hear thank you for your service because that kind of embarrasses them, but do it anyway. Uh -huh.